And joining us now here on the set of First Take is Miles Austin, the Cowboy receiver. Uh, Miles, let's talk about the draft pick of Des Bryant. How do you think it impacts the receiving core in your offense to have him with you? I think it's going to be tremendous. I mean, uh, it just adds another playmaker, someone that can kind of catch the ball and, and make something happen, you know, after, after the ball turns something short into something long. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he can uh, help us win a bunch of games and, and uh, the right ones late in the year, too. Now, what were your initial impressions uh, of the draft pick, of him, and how he'll fit in? Uh, I mean, initially I was like, this is going to open up avenues for myself, uh, Roy Williams, Jason Witten, uh, you know, because it gives some, uh, the defense something else to worry about. So uh, I, was, uh, I was pretty excited right, right away. And after watching the uh, tape, I was watching the mini camp tapes of the, of the rookie mini camps. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, the proof is in the pudding. He, he's everything that, you know, the coaches were saying. So, and I've seen it with my own eyes with the film. So I'm excited. And you've put plenty of good plays on the film and on the tape over the last couple of years. And uh, uh, from the reports, working on a, a long-term deal to stay in Dallas, how are the contract negotiations going? Uh, I mean, who knows right now? My agent's doing all that. I'm just kind of going in making sure I'm in my workouts and, uh, and working hard. That's all I can control. All right. So in the offseason, you spend a little time away from football. You're, you're checking out high school halls of fame with, uh, with great high school javelin throwers, right? Yeah, my sister was inducted to the uh, high school hall of fame, uh, you know, from javelin and last night. And it was awesome. My parents are here today. And, uh, you know, we had a nice time last night. And it was awesome. Uh, so who, was, who would give the better Hall of Fame speech, her or you? She's definitely be <laughs> better at giving a speech than I am. But, you oh. know, she's a, a lot more articulate and better writer than I am. I could just, I can hang out, though. I can hang out and kick it around. Uh, you're, you're a scholarly guy. We, we know you're in the middle of a chess match outside, and he's playing better than anyone else so far against our chess champion. I'm going to test your NFL trivia knowledge here <laughs> among guys like you, undrafted free agents. You want to go over and play a little game? Of course, let's uh, go. It'll be like Wink Martindale here oh, from some wow. of the old school people who remember the great game show host. What we're going to do is play name that undrafted free agent superstar, or undrafted superstar. Here's how it works. We're going to give you some clues ranging from the obscure to the more notable. You get a chance after each clue to guess who it is. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay, here's the first one. If not a football player or an athlete, he would have been a firefighter. Do you have a guess? A firefighter? Um, I got no idea on this one. All right, let's give another clue. Sam Hurd, No, <laughs> incorrect. He played in the NCAA tournament, the Elite Eight, as a forward for Kent State. Uh, Antonio Gates? Antonio Gates is correct. <laughs> Drive crowd uh, Yes. There you go. Yes, one for one saying. on the second one, and he led San Diego in receptions each of the last six years. You would have gotten it immediately after that. There we go. Yes, I would have. Want to try to hit another one? Let's try to let's, let's go again. Let's do another one. There is Antonio Gates, an undrafted free agent who is a terrific basketball player, undersized power forward. This undrafted free agent missed a tryout after being bitten by a spider on his honeymoon. Wow. Uh, I got no idea. I got uh, no one. Uh, I don't know anyone who uh, was bitten by a spider ever in my life. Actually, uh, I've never. <laughs> I've never known anyone who planned that as part of their honeymoon ritual either. Okay, he also stocked shelves at a grocery store in Iowa. Oh, okay, uh, uh, Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. I yeah. think the second clues are too easy. The second Not, clues help me out a lot. You're no killed. deal. No, no <laughs> deal. <laughs> Howie Mandel. I should have used that for exactly. the Wink Martindale reference. It is Kurt Warner who retired from the Cardinals after leading them to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. Okay, you're two for two on the second clue. Let's see if you can hit one on the first clue. This undrafted free agent tied a chain around his waist wants to make weight. To make weight? Uh, Dwight Freeney. Who oh, knows? No, he was drafted high, right? He was drafted high. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at the picture. I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is you're cheating, okay? I'm trying. All right, he started his college playing career at Trinity Valley Community College in Athens, Texas. It's a little tougher. I got no idea of this one. Not yet. I don't might need to go to the third one. Would you like to see what's in the box? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's. what's the third clue, the Hall of Fame class 2010 is a defensive tackle from the Minnesota Vikings. It starts with an R, his last name, I'm pretty sure. Very good. R Randall? Randall? Oh, yes, John yeah. Randall. John Randall, there you go. <laughs> very, very impressive. I watch my ESPN, you know. Very good. You, you pulled that one out of the fire. Yeah, I did. But now here's, here's the toughest one of all. He was born in San Diego while his father was in the Navy. You have a guess. 
No shot yet, nothing yet. Okay. Next, next clue, please. He averaged better than 24 points per game, nearly nine rebounds as an All-State basketball player in Wisconsin. Tony Romo. Tony Romo is correct. <laughs> very, very good. I know good. he's a ball player. I know he's a ball player. How about it? Yeah. See, throwing a TV pass to someone other than this room in this room, I was going to I would have guessed that one. Well, see, I was going to try to throw you off and say and I was wide open on the play, but I, <laughs> I guess you didn't. You got all oh, of them. Hey, the there we go. Awesome. All right. Where's my, where's my prize? Uh, a fabulous parting gift. You get to appear on first take. There we go. This there we you go. get to play That's chess it. against the chess champion. That's what I'm looking forward to. There all right, go try That's to finish awesome. up that chess match. Appreciate it.